The campfire release was to be used in the pro shops originally. If you walk into most pro shops today, you'll find that almost every bow on the wall that's for sale has got a zip tie. And they usually put the zip tie from here to here, here across to keep people from pulling bows back. That's pretty customer unfriendly really if you think about it. It is trying to eliminate dry fires, but let's face it, would you buy a bow until you had it in your hand and was able to pull it back? Well, neither will your customer. So Third Hand came out with this new item called a campfire release. It's got three finger grooves in there and in between the first and second there's a little slot here. What you do is just attach this to the bow between your D loop, then top and bottom knots, or if you have knock sets, put an extra knock set underneath it to hold it in place instead of using your zip ties. Now when a customer comes in, and let's just say you're working on somebody's bow and didn't see the customer come through the door. If he picks the bow up and says, pulls it back and says, wow, this new CSS Swamp Master, man, it's got 70% let off. I can hold that back with one finger. Well, guess what? He can also let it go. It's not going to dry fire because it can't fire, period. If the customer dry fires a bow, all he's interested in now is finding the door because he's embarrassed, in addition to the fact that it blows bows up and people do get hurt. They're very inexpensive. You can afford to put one on every bow in your shop and leave it there. It makes it very easy when a customer comes in, he picks the bow up, and he can go ahead and draw the bow. Now, if you'll notice, we've now put a hook on the front here. This makes this tool a great strength trainer. How many guys have you seen come into your shop that's got a bow at 70 pounds, but he's only shooting at 65 or 63 because ah, it just feels better? Well, it feels better because he doesn't have time to shoot. If you want to do some strength training, strength training is not necessarily just shooting. You can take your uh, campfire release, put it on a D loop, and just by pulling anchor, and then let down three quarters. Draw, anchor, and let down three quarters. It's all muscle memory, number one, but if you're holding resistance forward and backward, you're doing twice as much in half the time. In fact, if you do 10, it's equivalent to shooting 125 arrows. 10's gonna take you less than a minute. 125 arrows will take you all about an hour and a half. If you do this every day, then once a week, you crank your limb bolts a quarter turn. You'll go up a pound or two every week. Once your bow limbs are bottomed out, it's gonna be quicker, it's gonna be quieter, and it's gonna be more accurate. Once you've got it to that point, all you need to do now is pull your bow 10 times, maybe twice a week, and that'll keep you in shape. Now folks, it's hard to imagine how well this does work without trying it. And I know, <laughs> first time I saw it, I thought, man, that's gotta be crazy. But ask the dealer, if you shoot a 70 pound bow, ask him if you can borrow a 65 pounder and try it. Or if you shoot 60 pounds, try it on a 55 and just see how hard it is to pull the thing 10 times in a row. You'll be amazed. That's our new $10 bow flex.